He planned this out very carefully. He's not delusional in what he did. He knew exactly what he's doing. He was able to go through each one of his steps. Uh, and that's a psychopathic type of personality, not a psychotic one. I believe this young man probably started down a very sad path early on when he was a child because psychopaths develop very young. They start uh, failing in society, not doing, you know, getting along, not having successes in perhaps social life, family life, and, and they're just, they're not getting the feedback they want. So after a certain point in time, they, they withdraw. Some of them become um, very manipulative. They lie. They, 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 their world becomes just them, and they become the only imp important person in it. They lose all empathy for other people, and people become either useful or in the way. My guess is this plan had been brewing in his head for quite a long time. It probably, it just increases and increases and increases. In other words, you start with a small idea as you start your anger and your hatred starts growing, and then you say, what feels good to me? So you focus on a violent ideation. You start practicing your writing. You, you, you check out all kinds of scenarios, and you see which one feels better. You might spend a lot of time in, kind of, in violent fantasies, maybe through the net, through reading, through video games, whatever it might happen to be some place where you can now have different scenarios that you can test out. And then when you start getting something you like, you go over and over and over and you build and you build. This probably went through his head a thousand times and the plans probably started quite a while back, but the actual, you know, the m moment of actually acting it out, well, I'm not quite sure when that started. If you see a quiet man is a little strange, uh, withdrawn, doesn't want to talk, I mean, the most you can do is try to be friendly and just see if he's a nice guy who, who's, who's sad and lonely. Uh, if teachers see this kind of behavior, they might talk to the student and try to get them some intervention because if they're not psychopathic, they will respond to intervention. Perhaps going to counseling will help them a great deal. But if you start seeing psychopathic behaviors, those are more concerning. They do not respond to counseling because psychopaths don't, don't, don't get help by counseling. They're, they're a done deal by the time they're eight, nine, ten years old.